نحمده ونصلي ونسلم على رسوله الكريم أما بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قال الله تبارك وتعالى في القرآن المجيد والفرقان الحميد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألا إن أولياء الله لا خوف عليهم ولا هم يحزنون الذين آمنوا وكانوا يتقون لهم البشرى في الحياة الدنيا وفي الآخرة لا تبديل لكلمات الله ذلك هو الفوز العظيم صدق الله مولانا العظيم وبلغنا رسوله النبي الكريم الأمين ونحن على ذلك لمن الشاهدين والشاكرين والحمد لله رب العالمين إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما الصلاة والسلام عليك يا سيد يا رسول الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا سيد يا حبيب الله Starting in the name of Allah, who is the most beneficent and the merciful, who is the glorious creator of all the universe, everything within it and out of it. Gentlemen, as we all know, we have gathered here for commemorating a personality that is known as Mahbubah Subhani, Ghothir Samdani, Shahbaz Ila Makani, Khutbe Rabbani, حضور سیدی غوث اعظم عبد القادر جیلانی گیلانی المعروف غوث اعظم all these names are associated with him and the verse I just recited that اللہ ان اولیاء اللہ لا خوف علیہم ولا ہم یحزنون that unquestionably the allies of Allah they have no fear they have no grief. Allah in the awliya, unquestionably, the allies of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, there is no fear. There is no grief for them. There is no fear. Why? Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given aid to them. And this verse, this verse points out to whom? To the people like Hazrat Shaykh Abdul Qadir Jilani Gilani. Awliya Allah. The Mahbubah Subhani like them. The great personalities like him. The history has ever seen the greatest of the awliya. The kings, the kings of awliya Allah. The greatest of the saints of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Islamic history has ever seen. Only one instance, of one, okay, on one occasion, the Mahbubah Subhani was sitting and reciting the Quran when suddenly the clouds came and covered the whole sky the whole sun was covered by the clouds Mahbubah Subhani was reciting and there a voice came that O oh Abdul Qadir O oh Abdul Qadir that you have served us well that you served me well so as a reward I am forgiving all the salahs all the prayers to you you don't have to pray from now on. Suddenly, Mahbu Subhani thought that if this was the reward for being pious, for being good, for being a for being a servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if this would have been the reward, why this was not given to us of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Why this reward was not given to him? Although he was, but even the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, there were six prayers for him. We have five. There were six for him. Why I'm being, why I'm being obligated? Why I'm not being obligated? Why there, why I'm being forgiven these prayers? And the Mahbubah Subhani suddenly recited La Hawla wa La Quwwata illa billahi aliyil azim. And suddenly that whole clouds that covered the sky converted to dust and the whole sky became clear and it appeared to be the shaitan the iblis who was pretending to be 
he was trying to misguide the Ghosi Azam, Mabubi Subhani, he was trying to misguide him. The Shaitan said, O oh, Abdul Qadir, your knowledge has saved you today. Your knowledge has saved you today. But what Mahbubi Subhani replied, O oh, Shaitan, O oh, you devil being, O oh, you evilish being, it is not my knowledge who saved me today. It is the blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is the fuzzle of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who saved me today. The Shaitan Iblis again replied, O oh, Abdul Qadir, you have saved yourself again. I have misguided more than 40 saints just from this sentence. I have misguided many saints only from this sentence. This was the great personality of Mahbubah Subhani, the Shaykh Abdul Qadir Jilani Gilani. And we have gathered here to commemorate his personality, to commemorate his character. That what was his life? How was he, how he followed the teachings of our Prophet? How he spread the knowledge? How he became a saint? How he spread the knowledge through his every source he could? This is the message of today that follow the teachings of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa Follow the footsteps of Shaykh Abdul Qadir Jilani. Follow the people that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has pointed out in the Quran. Ala inna awliya Allah. These awliya Allah, these are the saints of Allah who are to be followed, whose footsteps to be followed. And this is the message today. Jazakallah.